Hey folks, Wish SE. We're up here today to shoot the Ruger LCR in 22 long rifle. I've had the gun now for a couple of weeks. I put nah, maybe 100, 150 rounds through it, and I'm really primarily working my non dominant hand, so we're shooting off handed with my left hand, right, which for me, I have some physical limitations with that. Can't do much shooting. I had some surgery on my right arm and therefore just going to work the gun with the left hand. So what we're going to do today is sort of show you how the gun performs with a couple different types of ammunition. We are going to shoot short distances. Again, I'm working short distance because physically I just don't have the same capacity with my left hand that I have the right hand. Nevertheless, we can still work front sight trigger press and follow through. So that whole process. I'm going to shoot slowly. I'm going to really work for accuracy with a double action trigger. So let's get to shooting right now. All right, folks, so we're three yards from our target, and I'm just going to work slow trigger press, really trying to focus on doing things right. All right, folks, here we go. So again, am I happy with that group? No, I'm really not. Um, but this is what practice is all about. So we're Okay, so it's somewhat warmed up now, so we're gonna try to really dial in on the accuracy standpoint and um, work the trigger and the sights. So what you see is we were able to get uh, five shots and just uh, we'll go down range here and give you guys a perspective of it. Um, I'm three yards away from these uh, little targets that we're shooting at. So this is our group here to here. And again, this is the gun just, just to, to show you guys what it looks like. So really a, um, maybe a half inch group, five shots, I believe five or six shots. Toward the end there, my hand started cramping up, and that's just because I've been firing 150 rounds, and I've just got some issues with my left hand. It is what it is. But not bad accuracy. Okay, so I'm going for the three-yard line again, and I'm going to try to shoot a little faster in terms of my shot cadence, and we'll see if we can keep them in the center there at the target. So, certainly accuracy was not as good, but I was shooting at about one shot per second. One, two, three. I don't have the dexterity to shoot a lot faster than that, although I am going to try one more time. We'll see if we can pick up a shot cadence to about, you know, a half a second. So, one, two, three, four, bang, 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 and we'll still try to keep them in there. So, again, guys, this is a great drill for you to work the... the balance between speed and accuracy. Let's give it one more shot, do it a little bit faster. All right guys, we're gonna see if we can pick up our shot cadence now at about two shots a second. One, two, three, four, something like th in that uh, ratio from a speed standpoint.
So you can see I got some leaving the paper now. So that's really showing me that I cannot shoot right now that speed or any faster than that speed and still maintain accuracy again of that, that four inch disc out there at this distance. Well folks, that's a look at the Ruger LCR. So we shot it at a couple different distances. We also demonstrated the fact that if I'm doing my part, the revolver, this little short barrel revolver, does a pretty good job from an accuracy standpoint given its limited sights. You can also see that in spite of having a physical handicap with my left hand, by following the process, which is a trigger press, nice, slow, even trigger press, staying on the front sight and then having the follow through, releasing the trigger out and then having that, that follow through really does and can produce good results. If you own a revolver or any other type of, of handgun, it's important that you practice. And it's, from my perspective, it's important that you practice short distances and work your way out. If you can master a one inch group at three yards and do that consistently, then as you step to four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, you'll be able to have much better control of the fundamentals that allow you accuracy. You can also see that we talked about working the speed and accuracy continuum. The slower I shoot and the more that I focus on trigger press and stance, I can be very accurate. However, I want to find from a defensive standpoint that balance between speed and accuracy. And as you saw on this target here, while we started throwing some out as I tried to push my shot cadence, just physical limitation, I can't move my index finger very fast on my left hand, but I was able to keep them in an area that from a combat standpoint would be effective. So I have uh, great regard for the Ruger LCR. We're going to be adding an LCR at 38 Special uh, sometime in the next uh, few weeks. Uh, the family's chipping in on a holiday gift for me. Can you believe that? How fantastic is that? So anyway, we'll be able to, to compare and contrast and talk about uh, some of those things. Again, because of my right arm uh, surgery, I'm going to really be working just my non-dominant hand and giving you guys a chance to see that while it's not as good as the shooting that I can do with my dominant hand, I can still be uh, reasonably accurate and do a decent job in terms of getting hits. And it's all about following the process. Anyway, I sincerely appreciate all you guys watching. It's really fantastic. Uh, I'm actually humbled by the response that we get. And um, it's really because you guys um, find whatever we're doing here interesting. So I sincerely appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you very much. Finally, have a great holiday season. And as always, 